Well, Nicki Minaj airs out Cardi B because Cardi B and her sister were getting messy yesterday on Instagram, especially her sister taking more shots at Nicki Minaj. And, you know, like at this point, it's like it could have been over, but they keep bringing this up. Uh, Cardi B obviously used to be a Barb, and when she came into her own, she is going at Nicki Minaj. Now, I'm not saying Nicki Minaj isn't wrong for anything. Uh, you know, the whole motorsport debate. Now, she's just kind of, there's two ways to look at it. She's either speaking out for herself or it didn't need to be spoken about. But anyways, bringing it up, the whole motorsport debacle led to this thing and that thing. And then Cardi B saying Nicki stopping her bags. And then Nicki has to respond to that because she's looking like, she's trying to paint Nicki as a hater. She's, she's coming for Nicki's spot. Point blank. So Nikki's defending her spot, okay? Uh, on Queen Radio, she just, you know, she said, you know, you, you and your sister are trying to paint Ra Ali, who's Remy Ma's ex-friend and now Nikki's friend. She was there the night Cardi B threw a shoe at Nikki and then almost tried to hit Nikki, but Ra Ali put her in a chokehold and, you know, punched her in the face and Cardi B came out with lumps on her face. She's saying, Security footage there. We filmed it with our cameraman. We're not releasing the footage because we got class, but there's a reason why you tried to steal the camera from the cameraman. This can all be over. She said, if you stop talking about me, I'll stop talking about you. Talk about leaking addresses. I didn't leak any addresses. I would. Why would Nikki leak addresses and phone numbers? It doesn't make sense. Like Cardi B is... See, when you, sometimes when people get money, right? I can say that Nikki's pretty much been consistent since... The come up to now. It's just she's able to talk more shit now. That's about that's what's different. She has millions of dollars now versus having thousands of dollars back then. With Cardi B, she came off as this, you know, good person and everything. But now that she has money, you're gonna see who she is, okay? And we'll have to see. You know, I'm not saying she's wrong, you know, totally wrong. Though let's let's not have the Barty gang after me or you know, but let's just be honest that we have to see what happens. You know, Cardi B has millions of dollars now. Let's see who she is. Money always exposes who somebody really is. Uh, I'm not saying Nikki's perfect. I'm not saying Cardi's per perfect. I'm not perfect. We're all flawed, okay? And we all have our things that we regret we didn't do. You know, Nikki said there's lots of things she could expose, private conversations, everything that she's not exposing. Um, it's better that Cardi B does her and Nikki does her, you know, and then th they just don't talk anymore. Obviously, it's never going to work. For some reason, it's very hard for girls to get along in rap. It's always, and it's also hard for guys to go on, but more so with females. It turns into a cat fight a little faster. With guys, it takes a little bit, you know, see, like Meek and Drake, they were best friends and then, uh, they, <laughs> they almost had a cat fight, you know, it's like, and now they're cool again. Cardi B and Nicki never really started as friends. They don't really know each other. Cardi B probably just feels like Nicki didn't accept her right away and that hurt her as a barb. You know? Well, we'll hear more about this later. I know Cardi B responded already. So, this is George Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit the subscribe button, and I'll check you guys later. Make sure you uh, hit that thumbs up. Okay? Appreciate you guys.